I take this big boat out, guys. It's such a powerful ecosystem. We have 32 inch trout here. You know, and things get bigger here because of the minerals. AFA has 76 different minerals in it, including all the precious minerals. Where, where, where else are you going to get that kind of thing? See, here's a slick right here. That's harvestable. The number one factor affecting uh, AF, the growth of AFA is, is light. So look at that, how thick it is. <laughs> and if you, were, if you drive over that, it smells like candy. It smells like sugar, it smells really sweet. Yeah, that's the AFA cells right there. Those are colonies. The cells are too small to see, but they, they're shaped rectangular. And uh, they join up uh, end to end. They're attracted and they form a, a bacterial colony, column filaments. But what you're seeing here is a, are the actual colonies. Well, this lake freezes over in the wintertime. So the, the AFA is, is making a spore now. It'll actually go dormant. And in the spring, you know, this lake is really shallow. It's an average depth of eight feet. We've got 300 thermal days a year. The light penetrates down only when it's really dead calm like this. That's why you're seeing all this activity of uh, AFA right now. This is a really high light day, and it's really, really flat, so the light can penetrate really deep. That's the number one contributing factor to the growth of AFA is, is light. And in my opinion, the second of it is the volcanic uh, minerals here. You know, it's got a great food source, you know, and absolutely pristine water. And the runoff question, it's, it's non-detectable. Uh -huh. We have to certify, you know, with our, uh, we're certified organic by Otco, uh, Oregon Tilt, and we have to test for all that stuff every year. Never had a positive result. Actually, today, the, you know, the moon is, we're having a full moon right now, so the moon is keeping it up at night because there's a lot of light. So there's, there's a ton of algae. You, you're seeing it everywhere we go, right? But if it starts blowing, you know, five, six, seven miles an hour, down she goes. So we do a lot of testing. Uh, water testing for toxins that have been released into the water. We do a lot of microscope, looking at slides under a microscope to see which type of algae predominates. Actually, cell counts, you know. It's going to be dead calm tomorrow and Thursday. So uh, we probably going to start nailing it, um, probably tomorrow. We're waiting for a couple of lab tests to come back.